Well, howdy there. You're watching episode 41 of the Daily Decrypt, independent members at LTB Network. I am your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by Newbits. Can home-based mining be re-incentivized for the average person? Will there one day come a time when we hear about the booming decentralization of mining as opposed to the inverse? The company BitHeat seems to be betting on it, as they're currently building the first prototype of a Bitcoin miner which pays for its own cost and its electricity usage by doubling as a water heater. BitHeat co-founder Julian Stahl has published a progress report about the device, asking interested community members to take a short survey and or provide him with feedback as they continue in this early development stage. The number of Bitcoin users who are dissatisfied with the development going into the core reference client is growing. Alternative reference clients offered by the likes of Bitcoin XT and Bitcoin Unlimited are gaining traction in places like Reddit. The push to use alternative reference clients reached perhaps a new high over the weekend as a Bitcoin Core developer pushed a generally unpopular patch to the upcoming Core client. You can learn more about the patch in an essay by Open Bazaar developer Chris Pacia, also linked below. Last week, the Daily Decrypt put out a little survey seeking an alternative to a reportedly defunct WordPress Bitcoin tips widget. We got a solid answer from Fav, blogger at smartcoins.pw, who reports that he has been happy with his Mycelium Gear payments widget. This widget generates new Bitcoin addresses for each new visitor to your website. It's free to use, open source, and the coins are never held by Mycelium, but always go straight to you. And it is not, I repeat, not too late for you to enter the anti-war haiku contest. It's no secret that the monopolization of money makes funding unpopular things like war easier than they would be otherwise. So a desire for peace is just one reason why so many people like cryptocurrency so damn much. Express your desire for peace by sending a haiku to antiwarhaiku at antiwar.com. To match the syllabic structure of a haiku, the top three winners will be awarded 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0.5 Bitcoin, respectively. You can enter as many haikus as you like until the deadline of midnight December 16th, and you're encouraged to share them on your social media profiles with this hashtag to spread the word. Do you wear your love for crypto on your sleeve? I mean, literally, do you wear your love for cryptocurrency on your sleeve? Because if you don't, but you want to, I just found this store called Crypto Threads, and they make custom crypto t-shirts. So right now in their store are Bitcoin, Dash, and Unobtainium shirts. And if you are looking to get shirts made, hosted, shipped, and sold for your fans on behalf of your favorite community, send your design files and your desired profit margin, if any, over to the folks at Crypto Threads to get your gear sold there. Today's episode has been brought to you by Newbits a cryptocurrency which has maintained almost an exact US dollar value since it was launched in 2014. Some people like to ride the crypto volatility wave, while others pine for stability. And if you find yourself in the latter group, visit newbits.com to learn more. Remember to share this episode with a friend. Goodbye. Take a little trip.